Okay, here's the deal. It's cold and wet outside. It's supposed to rain all day and be really chilly. So if I get up and get out, I'm gonna have to bundle up, get my rain jacket out, uh, put my boots on, and I probably won't be that comfortable. Or I could just stay inside where I have heat. I could cook all day and uh, watch YouTube. Yeah, I think that's the answer. I'm gonna stay inside all day. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna take a quick bath. I'll spare you the uh, close-up details. This is all you get. You know, it's funny, I've had a number of people tell me that uh, I waste too much water by taking a bath every morning. Uh, but I'm only using about a quart of water. I mean, you saw how much I was using there. I don't even think I used a quart this morning. Um, it's just odd to me that people would tell me that. Uh, I would think that walking around stinky is not a good, desirable thing. and trying to, at least giving the effort to stay clean uh, and not smelly, would be definitely worth a quart of water. What I usually don't tell people that get after me about wasting water, uh, taking a bath and trying to stay clean, is that I, uh, while I always take a morning bath, I very often take an evening bath too before I get into bed just to keep my bedding cleaned. So hopefully those people won't see me say this and realize that there's a lot of days I waste two quarts of water in a day in an effort to be clean. Let's hope they don't know that. Yeah, I always drink water before I even think about making coffee in the morning, but now that I've got a little bit of water in me, let's get the old kettle on. Oh, I need to put away my sleeping attire too. I bought this, um, what a lot of people call a beanie. I call it toque because that's the proper name for these, but um, whatever you call it, a hat maybe, if that's better. Um, I bought this thing just for sleeping, and I keep it right above me because if I wake up in the night and it's a little cold and I feel that cold in my head. I, I don't have to turn the lights on. I can just grab it and put it on. So I try to keep it in the same place uh, always. Um, it's really nice. It's all merino wool and you might recognize the little logo there. I've been wearing this sweater uh, from the same company. Uh, Smart Wool is, is the company. Um, they make really good wool stuff and I've just found wool to be a fantastic thing for my situation and where I can't always turn my heat on and I can't always uh, be in a temperature controlled environment. So it's nice just to have wool stuff that I know is temperature regulating and really warm. Um, that hat, same with the sweater, are really thin but they're really warm and if I do get a little warm in the night I don't roast in them. I don't sleep in the sweater, but uh, I do sleep in that hat. Let's call it a hat, even though it is called a toque. Sounds like the rain is starting to come down a little bit heavier. It's been like this all night last night. It would come down heavy and then it would let up a little bit. Uh, the one difference this morning is traffic is a little crazy outside. It was super quiet at night, hardly any traffic. Um, I, may, I, I might have to just move uh, from this spot, find another street to park on. 
might be a little quieter without so many zooming by cars. Let's get the kettle on first though, make some coffee. You might notice here that I have my stove running and it's something that I do because uh, if it's a little chilly and I have not run my heater all night, it might be kind of cold in the van and it was pretty chilly last night. So when I get up, well, usually before I even get out of bed, I'll just turn the heater on real low and just let it run while I'm brushing my teeth and taking my bath in the morning. And then it just makes it easy for me to uh, pop the kettle on. Um, and I mean, I like being comfortable and warm. So right now I'm wrestling with the idea of should I just stay put here and not move so I don't have to deal with the wet and cold weather. It's nice and warm in here right now. Um, or is the constant flow of traffic, especially the zoomy zoomy traffic that's going by, is that going to bug me enough to make me want to move? That's the question. But I should just be focusing on my coffee, because that's the task at hand, isn't it? Well, I think the traffic's going to bug me, so I'm going to finish making my coffee here. Put the stuff away, and I don't have a lot to put away. Just get into drive mode here and drive just around the block. I think I can jo go just right around the block and find a quieter place to park. And if that place to park isn't that quiet, I'll just drive around another block because uh, there's a lot of traffic. Oh yeah. Okay, be brave, be brave, you can do this. Hmm. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's wet out, not terrible. Uh, it's not as cold as I was thinking it was gonna be, so not too bad. Uh, it's now cold back here because, um, yeah, this, this jacket is not really made to get too wet. I'm kind of at the limit here on this one. A minute or two longer and it would have uh, soaked through and got the down wet, which is not so great. Anyway, um, I was hoping I was gonna go just around the block and find a parking spot. That didn't work out. Uh, pretty uh, jammed up for parking where I am at the moment. So I found a park, a little city park. Hardly anybody here. Uh, it's not very peaceful because there is a freeway right close by. Um, I didn't realize that when I noticed it on Google Maps at first, but um, anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so this is better than the other spot because at least I don't have people zooming by. But um, I need to warm up again. So, breakfast time. So I think for breakfast here, I'm going to do something I haven't done for quite some time, which is oatmeal. I'm going to make some oatmeal. I was eating oatmeal every day for a couple of years, and then I got tired of it. Um, but I think it'll work today because it'll kind of warm me up. Get my uh, stove going, that'll warm up the space. So it's all good, I think. Oh, and I believe I have a little maple syrup left in my fridge here. That'll make this uh, a little extra special. All right, recently I bought some rubber bands, some big rubber bands, so I can start closing up some of these bags of things that I have uh, open and I'm using uh, instead of using binder clips. I've used binder clips for years and I've just been not impressed with them sometimes because I have such a tight amount of space that I uh, store some of this stuff in. A lot of times the binder clip will pop off and having to clean up oatmeal if a binder clip pops off is not the most fun thing. So now I've got a ton of binder clips up here should probably find another use for them. Or if you see me out and about, ask me for a couple of binder clips. I'd be happy to get rid of some because the uh, rubber band thing works so much better for me. So years ago, I made a slight mistake when I was making my morning oatmeal. It was a Sunday morning and I was uh, very, very tired. I'd worked a uh, six day work week. There was uh, one day was a 20 hour day they had me scheduled a Friday, they had me scheduled, and then I had to work on Saturday. And so Sunday when I got up, I was just bleary and uh, not, not with it. And so I made a mistake with my oatmeal. And then I didn't bring my water up to a boil first, which is what they normally tell you to do. If you look on the package of most oatmeals, they tell you, bring your water up to a boil and then pour your uh, rolled oats in, because I use rolled oats usually. Being that I was so tired, I just threw everything in the pot, put it on the stove, brought it up to a boil, and that little mistake changed how I made oatmeal from then on. Uh, I like it so much better this way. So I put everything in. I put the water and the oats in, and then bring it up to a boil. Uh, and it kind of breaks down the oatmeal a little bit more. It makes a little more of a mush, so you don't have those little separate flakes of rolled oats. Which, if you like that, of course, you need to follow the package instructions, but I kind of like it this way better. So uh, I've been doing it like this ever since. So uh, maybe being overworked and tired sometimes has some benefits. I don't know. Um, seems to have a little bit of a benefit, at least for my oatmeal. Oh my, I uh, decided to add some cherries to my oatmeal. I have some frozen cherries that I've had in my freezer and I noticed that there was a hole in the bag and it was making a mess in the bottom of my freezer. Um, the cherries weren't frozen exactly when I first bought them so they leaked all over the bottom of, of my freezer and uh, into the refrigerator side of my fridge freezer combination thing here. And so when I realized that they were, that there was a little puncture in the bag, I put them in a bigger bag. But somehow, when I just pulled this out, there must be a puncture in this bag too. Uh, this bag is actually a, uh, a repurposed from some, something else. So uh, I didn't think to check to see if it had a hole in it, but wow, these little cherries are causing me quite a mess. I'm gonna try to clean these off and maybe keep the mess of my freezer down a little bit. I like cherries, but this is a lot of work. <laughs> There's something I like so much. Okay, I got a new bag for the cherries. Hopefully this does it. I uh, picked a new bag this time and not a uh, reused bag. Um, that old bag had some pasta in it, and apparently that's why it had a hole in it. 
I uh, should have thought about that. Um, I've got a little mess to clean up in my freezer. I will do that in a moment because um, my breakfast is almost done. Spending so much time cleaning up cherry juice that's uh, almost burnt the bottom of my oatmeal, but we're good. So those cherries in my oatmeal need just a couple of minutes to finish defrosting, so I'm going to leave those sit for a minute. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to refill my homemade Berkey water filter here. Um, these aren't actually real Berkey filters in here either. The whole thing is just made up of uh, parts that I put together. And I've been really happy with it, actually. Um, this, If you're noticing this, this is the... Uh, filter for my AeroPress. I reuse the filters on my AeroPress several times. I usually get about four to six days out of one filter. I just put them up on top of here, let them dry, and then I flake off the old um, coffee grounds that are stuck to them. This one had a lot of coffee grounds. Sometimes I hardly get any that stick to them. But that's just a little way that I kind of save a little bit of money. And because I don't want to go outside and get my spare water container and refill this, I'm just going to bail some water in the top of this because I think I'm going to want more coffee today and I'm also going to want more, or I'm going to probably want to make some soup uh, as well today. So I'm going to need lots and lots of fresh, clean water. Okay, I think my oatmeal is ready to be finished off. I'm going to add a little cinnamon here and just a little bit of maple syrup. You know, I've got some sweetness from those cherries, but I like a little bit of sweet in my oatmeal and I might as well use the maple syrup since I've got it. I thought I had some uh, pecans, but I can't find them, so this will be it. I think this is alright. Let's give it a try here. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Yeah, maple syrup. Maple syrup and oatmeal is just the best. <laughs> okay, my oatmeal was pretty good, but Truth be told, I think it had more to do with the cherries and the maple syrup than it did with the oats. <laughs> Just being honest there. Um, but I need to turn my attention now to lunch. And I'm thinking soup is the best idea for a nice cold, wet day like today. So I looked through my pantry area, and I think I'm going to go with the soup mix that I have from Bob's Red Mill. Uh, just because I've already opened it and I should probably just continue on eating it. I've got some lentils and things too that would cook a little faster than this would. Um, but like I said, since it's open, I should probably just continue eating this. Um, it cooks very, very slow. So what I've learned in the past is uh, to pour some in a pan. And since I've just washed my uh, oatmeal pan from earlier, I'm just going to put it in that. Uh, I'll cover it with water, put it on my stove, bring it to a boil, and then I'll just let it sit uh, for a bit. Uh, you know, whenever I'm starting to think I should get dinner started or lunch started. Probably both. It's probably going to be breakfast or lunch and dinner here. I'll make a bunch of it. Um, and then I'll put it on the stove and finish cooking it. Just saves a little bit of gas that way. Uh, anything helps. Uh, when it comes to cooking with propane, because that's what I'm using is propane, and so uh, if I can cut down on having to go and buy it, that's what I try to do.
So while I'm waiting for this to come up to a boil, I will uh, get out some beef patties that I have in the freezer. I'm just gonna take, uh, I think just one of these out and let it thaw and I'll cook this off later and add it to the soup just to make the soup a little more hearty. This is probably a good time too to uh, clean out that cherry juice because it's a mess down here. Yeah, I got the food out of the freezer. Look at this. You know, I try to reuse plastic bags to be frugal, but uh, not terribly frugal this time because I'm going to use a ton of paper towels to clean this up. If I were near laundry day, I would just clean it up with towels, but I don't need to do laundry for a while, so paper towels it is, unfortunately. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I got most of it cleaned up. Um, I just poured some vinegar in it, well, sprayed some vinegar in it, and then uh, wiped everything out because that cherry juice was kind of frozen down on the bottom. Some of it took a little bit of extra work but uh, it's all pretty good now. If it were a nicer day out, I would just take the fridge right outside and dump a little bit of warm water in it because I do have a plug in the bottom of the freezer side of this. So I just angle the fridge kind of toward the uh, plug side and then pour a little bit of warm water in it and wipe it out. And it's so much easier like that, but I really don't want to take my fridge out in the rain. So I'm um, just doing the best I can right now and then uh, as soon as the weather gets nicer, hopefully the weather gets nicer soon, uh, I will get this out, pull all the food out, and clean it properly like I do from time to time. But this is good enough. Now I gotta get my uh, frozen stuff back in here. Okay, good news. My soup mix here has come to a boil, and I've turned the heat off, and I'm just gonna let it sit. Uh, normally I would let it sit for an hour and then I would start it back up again but I think today I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of hours because I think I've got a couple hours of work to do on my iPad so while I uh, focus on my work this will just sit happily until I'm ready to get lunch and dinner started because this is gonna be both my lunch and my dinner uh, so I don't need to do anything else to that my prepping is done for the meantime um, I do need to wait for those beef patties to thaw out before I can cook those as well. So I'm just going to think about work and somehow I still have coffee here. I've not been drinking my coffee, so this needs some attention as well. I'm having a little snack of yogurt. I don't know if I've had this brand before, Wallaby. It's good. Um, but I have run into a slight little problem. Uh, now that I am just sitting here, not moving around, and my stove isn't on, it's getting kind of chilly. And I'm thinking I might want to turn my heater on, but I might need to run the heat tonight because it's supposed to be pretty cold tonight. So I don't really want to waste the propane but um, I think maybe I'll just put my sweater on. Maybe I should make another cup of coffee too. It's, it's probably time for that. I'm not done with my work on my iPad. I've been messing around and not focused on things. So uh, that's okay today because I just would rather stay inside. As chilly as it is in here, it's much warmer in here than it is outside. And of course, it's nice and dry in here, so um, I'm content just to stay inside. Maybe another cup of coffee. I'll finish my yogurt first. And then back to work, of course. Well, my jacket is definitely helping with the cold, but my feet are still cold, so I found my slippers. These are not the greatest slippers because they don't like to stay on my feet very well. They're not the best design. But they are fairly warm, and I definitely need them today because it's chilly. I think uh, I should probably get to making that other cup of coffee. That would help warm up the van a little bit. I need it. Okay, coffee has been achieved. I always want to just drink this straight away 
as soon as I make it. Um, this is some really good stuff that I bought here recently and uh, it's hard for me to not just gulp away at it. It's too hot to drink, but it's so good. It's just so good. In fact, I think I'm just going to drink this straight up for a bit and just enjoy it on its own. I, uh, I know most people drink their coffee with sugar and uh, all that doctored up with sweeteners and different flavors and stuff and I just like the taste of the coffee because if you buy really good coffee it does have its own flavor to it and this one's supposed to taste like cherries and I don't, I don't get the cherry part but um, that's kind of a theme I just was thinking about that just now uh, I had cherries in my breakfast this morning my coffee's supposed to taste like cherry but I don't I don't get it but hopefully if I wait a little bit let it cool down and drink it just straight, I'll get the cherry flavor. That's my thought anyway, so I'm gonna try to do that. I also need to get on lunch, so I'm gonna put the soup mix back on, and I'm gonna need to add just a little bit more water to it, but instead of just water, I'm gonna add some broth. I found some of these little broth things and they work out really well for me because I don't usually need a whole big carton of it. So I'm going to add this in, add a little salt here and get this turned on and get this cooking so that I can eat. Um, the yogurt was a nice little snack but uh, I think I need some real food at this point. Okay, soup is on, I've got fresh coffee. Now, back to work. Okay, good news. Uh, I think the soup is cooked, so I can get this off the heat and carefully here. I'm just gonna set this aside. And I pulled out a couple of hamburger patties. So I'm gonna cook them both off um, just because I thought it'd be more efficient to cook two of them off. I think I can get two in my pan. I have kind of a small pan here, but I think I can get two in here. Um, and one will be for today, the other will be for tomorrow. Efficiency, you know, um, is the way to go, I think. I'm just about caught up on my iPad work, so that's good. I just needed a little bit of time to focus on things and uh, try to get ahead a little bit too. Hopefully I can do that tomorrow, get ahead a little bit. Now I'm going to test my soup here. Hmm. It's cooked well and seasoned well. And as soon as those beef patties are done, I can eat one of those with some of the soup and uh, have a little bit of a meal. It's been too long since I've eaten something. So this is a carbon steel pan that I have. And if there's one thing that I've learned uh, on using this over the last few months that I've owned it is you got to get it clean as soon as you stop uh, cooking. Um, while it's still hot, if you just give it a little scrub with some water, it's usually all it needs. Uh, if it were something that didn't get stuck at all uh, to the pan, sometimes I just wipe it out with a towel and move on. Um, but since I'm cooking those beef patties, I need to make sure I give it a really good scrub. So I have one of these little uh, coconut core 
brushes and it does a pretty good job because it's nice and stiff and because it's a natural fiber I don't have to worry about this melting at all so it's kind of perfect for working on this I also have a stainless steel chainmail scrubber and I wasn't sure about this but um, I bought one of these because every once in a while I'll just take and scrub out the pan a little bit heavier so um, if it if I'm not watching the heat quite so well sometimes I get some uh, oil that kind of builds up along the sides which you can see that here on on this one I've got some oil build up on the sides um, and so to remove that I was using a little green scrubbing pad uh, scotch Brite pad some people call them and I didn't want to have to keep buying those things so I invested in one of these I think it was six or seven dollars um, it's all stainless steel and I don't know how they do it because the little rings don't have uh, any uh, sharp bits on them there there's nothing sharp on it it's just all kind of soft in a way that I know that doesn't make sense because it's stainless steel um, but it's kind of soft in a way but it has just enough grip that it's uh, really does a good job if I want to really scour down this pan. I don't use it all the time, but I definitely like it because since I got this, I don't have to uh, buy uh, those scrubby pads anymore. So it's good for that. Uh, but most of the time I just use this little coconut core scrubby and then give this a rinse and see that? That did a pretty good job um, of this. I'll usually come back and just add a little bit of oil to this and just wipe it out quickly. Uh, if, if I was doing something that maybe damaged the finish on this, uh, because it is carbon steel so it, it's a lot like a, a cast iron pan and that you need to keep the finish of it up. So if I did damage the finish on this, I would just put a little bit of oil on it, put it back on the heat and heat it up a little bit and that keeps the finish really nice and good. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to kind of strip this one down and re-season it. So that'll be in the next few days I do that. Uh, I'll probably share that once I get around to that because people keep asking me. Um, I would say though, if you have stayed away from carbon steel pans because you were told that they're hard to deal with and that they have a lot of work and a lot of upkeep, that's really not true. You don't really need to do much to them to keep them uh, basically non-stick. I mean, they're not like a Teflon pan, but they are pretty well non-stick. I cooked eggs uh, yesterday morning and they slid right out of the pan. I didn't have any stuck bits whatsoever. Um, so I really like the pans. They're really easy to use and they're really just simple to use. You don't have to do a whole lot to keep them uh, working well and um, I just like the fact that it's a once and forever pan. Uh, this pan is going to outlive me I'm sure by a long time and that was the whole reason that I bought it. I just got tired of buying those non-stick pans once a year, sometimes two or three times a year. Uh, this has just been a fantastic uh, kind of bomb proof pan. And now it is dinner time. And dinner, of course, is going to be my soup that I made before and one of these beef patties. I cook two off just because it's more efficient that way. I'll have the second one tomorrow with uh, probably the other half of the soup. I've got quite a bit of soup left. Um, what I did was I portioned off my meal right now uh, into my bowl. I usually don't do this. I usually just eat out of my pan. Um, but I need to cool this down as quickly as possible so I can put this away, get this in the fridge. And that was kind of the fastest way to do that. So I'm going to, uh, boy, this is still hot. Uh, I'm going to eat my dinner here. And I think what I want to do is get back to work. Um, I got quite a bit done earlier with my iPad work. So I think I'm going to after my dinner, just go back to the iPad and see if I can get caught up on it uh, today. You know, don't put it off. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd get ahead tomorrow, but might as well just try to knock it all out today. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we'll end this here and 
You know, this is kind of a strange one. Um, I do want to just say that uh, normally I don't hide away from bad weather. Uh, I do have a really good rain jacket. I've got waterproof boots. I've got lots of warm clothes and if it's going to be cold and rainy out, I normally get out and do some walking, get out, out, out of the van. Um, not something I stay away from, but uh, I just had so much work that was backed up that it was an excuse here today to uh, just stay in the van so I can get caught up, uh, which I have to do once in a while. Uh, definitely will be getting out tomorrow. I don't care what the weather's like tomorrow. I'm going to get out tomorrow and do some walking. And I know that I've got uh, some soup that I can heat up really quickly, so uh, that'll be good for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I guess this is it today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.